Hello Game Gum Shoes fans, Chris here with another Game Gum Shoes Presents. This time it's Ninja vs. Ninja by Out of the Box Games. Uh, Out of the Box Games is a defunct company now. Um, their product is still available at retailers and online retailers and things like that, so you can still pick up the games that I'm mentioning. But they're great games, uh, so I figured I'd let you know about it. This one is a little on the iffy side as far as grade is concerned. Uh, it's it's a little complicated, and I, I will say that. I mean, it's supposed to be a kid's game, but I definitely feel it's overly complicated for its own good. Um, we'll start off with the board. As Ninja vs. Ninja would imply, you are ninjas, and you are battling each other across your dojos. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you have this little gray line in the center. Okay, that's your neutral zone, more or less. Uh, you've got an area up here that is for your black characters, and an area down here that is for your red characters. You can see that the, the blocks are, you know, uh, shaded for their particular ninja army. Um, you have a shadow track and a uh, scoring track. Um, your shadow track is where you put your shadow ninja. Um, I'll show you that here in a minute. And your scoring track is where you put your sensei. Yes, you get one of those, because, hey, what kind of ninja school is not going to have a sensei? It's just simple. Uh, but anyhow, you want to score seven points. Sorry, seven points. Can't even see it that way, because it's upside down, depending on which way you're looking at it. So, that's your board. A little bit complicated, but, uh, you know, simple when you push it. Here are your senseis. They will go on their little scoring path. As you can see, they both more or less look the same, except red uh, robes, black robes. Uh, shadow ninjas are kind of the same thing. They go on your shadow track. They both have different colored bases, but they're essentially the same ninja. Um, then, obviously, each team has their red and black ninja, depending on which team you choose. Um, I think it's eight ninjas on each team. Um, you will be rolling dice. The dice are really unique, really cool, and really different. Um, they're actually squares with, with uh, katanas going through, which I think is really fun. They're black and red themed to go with the board, which also fun. They do roll a little funny, but I think you'll get the hang of it. Basically, with Ninja vs. Ninja, your ninjas have to infiltrate the other ninja's dojo and then sneak back without getting caught. Uh, the way they would get caught is with the roll of dice. You get to roll your dice, move into the dojo, turn, roll your dice again, move however many is on the dice, and then turn again to where you're facing your own dojo, roll your dice again, and then try to make it back through the neutral zone. Now, the neutral zone is very wide and does make it difficult to get back across uh, because each die here is only four-sided. So, at max, you're going to get eight roll. Um, minimum, you could get two. So, be very careful when you're, you're rolling your dice to try to get across the, uh, the dojos. Now, however far you get up into your opponent's dojo is how far you're going to move your shadow ninja into. So he'll move up into the, into the dojo along with you. And as long as you make it back, you get however many points the, the shadow ninja is on. So, and then you would move your sensei to match that amount of points. Again, it can be a little complicated because the high level of strategy of trying to roll 2d4s to get your ninja to where it needs to be and back again. Um, but it's only seven points, so it should be pretty simple. Um, give Ninja vs. Ninja a chance if you can. Uh, if you're in the Cincinnati area, you can always contact me, uh, numbers on the website and everything like that. And uh, you know maybe we can schedule a, a meetup to where you can learn how to play uh, Ninja vs. Ninja. Uh, my favorite store is Rock and Rooster, but there are all kinds of stores in the area that I have no problem going into. Um, I know the owners of most of them. So all we gotta do is, you know, set something up and arrange it and I'll be 
happy to show you any kind of games you want to learn. Anyhow, that is Ninja vs. Ninja. Thank you for joining me, Chris, with uh, Game Gumshoes, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.